Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for joining in to our YouTube live coffee chat where we're getting to know Maureen Reddig from Kansas City Life. We're so happy to have Maureen here. Maureen is the uh, manager of group sales for Kansas City Life. And she's been the manager of Kansas City Life Group Sales since 2008. She's also active, as many of my agent partners are, in the National Association of Health Underwriters. She served as the past president, uh, immediate past president, and now she is sitting on the board of directors. So thank you so much for being with us, Maureen. We really appreciate it. And thank you. I appreciate being here, too. It's quite exciting. Yeah, it is. And and we partner so well. I mean, Kansas City Life for us is really an important partnership. Um, we do like to, um, with our group health, really fill in any of those holes. And, and, you know, from our perspective, you're a great carrier. You're great to work with. It's easy to do business with you. So responsive. And that's, you know, for us, certainly uh, you know, the one, two, threes of what we or who we like to partner with. So I understand uh, you've been an employer benefit specialist since 1984. Um, can you tell us a little bit about what prompted you to get into the business? Um, well, it's actually, you know, probably it's probably a story of a lot of people who are in insurance. I haven't I've met very few people who've said I wanted to be an insurance agent when I grew right. up. <laughs> but uh, I was working on my master's in social work and I was working full-time at an insurance company um, as a claims processor and just watching the salespeople kind of do their thing mm -hmm. and the um, sort of entrepreneurial role they played. Um, by the time I graduated and looked at starting salaries for people in social work versus what I was already right. making, I said, I, th I think I'm going to stay in insurance. So that's... Well, we're happy you did. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you work for Kansas City Life. Um, again, we really like the carrier and the carrier partner that we have in you. Um, so in what ways do you feel Kansas City Life can be the most helpful to our agent partners um, and set them apart in the industry? Yeah, one of the reasons or some of the reasons that I felt that Kansas City Life um, would be a really good fit in the industry uh, and especially with the brokers that I enjoy working with so much are um, factors that I think have sort of left the marketplace now. So one of the primary ones is that all of our groups have a dedicated account rep even yeah. down to two lives. So, you know, what the world we're used to is where... Um, you know, if I want to call and talk to my medical insurance or have a question about it, I'm going to call and I could be transferred from person to person, go yes. through their computer system. Um, you know, if I call back later, I could get a different answer. So, and you know, you're typically say I have to be on the phone for an hour to kind of go through that process. So with this, you're going to call one person who knows your contract. Right. I mean, and that's the true meaning of accountability. The person that you're working with at Kansas City Life is truly accountable because they're the only person you're gonna be speaking to once a group is written regarding your group. Yeah. And so I think that that just makes a world of difference in terms of the service aspect that we have. You know, and every company talks about um, service and their role model, but we just have a model that has become unique in the industry. You know, 30 years ago it was the model, right? but now there's just giant call centers. They may or may not be in the United States, and I think groups really appreciate that difference. I agree, and, and again, from my perspective, having that one contact per group really does help us service our agent partners and their clients better as well. Um, so, as many carriers do, you have a two to nine segment and then you have a 10 plus segment. Can you briefly talk a little bit about your shelf products for the two to nine and kind of the limitations with those products versus your 10 plus? Sure. Um, and our two to nine market is called go to. Mm -hmm. So, it can be quoted um, directly by the agent or it can be quoted at our um, home office. It doesn't make any difference which way it's done. And um, so those are fixed plans mm -hmm. for life, short-term, long-term, disability, dental, and vision. Um, and because they're fixed plans, they're not custom design plans. Right. 
right? And so, for instance, on the short-term disability, it's a max of 1,500, mm-hmm. 60% to 1,500. The group chooses, or the agent chooses, the elimination period, 1-8 or 8-8, and then the duration, 13 or 26 weeks. And I bring that up because, uh, you know, the most common question we get is, oh, this group has a 400 or a $500 max. I didn't want 1,500. Right. We understand that, but our max is 1,500. Right. So those plans, those, that, those products are not seen by underwriting, right? So when I write 10 plus, usually when an agent calls me up and says, hey, I've sold this group with you, it's followed by a but, <laughs> and there's something little that needs to be you know, fixed or taken care sure, of definition. or an exception made, something sure. like that. Um, we can't do that on two to nine. You know, but the plans that are available, I think, are um, very liberal in terms of the marketplace. Mm-hmm. And um, there's five dental plans to choose from. They go from a thousand dollar max to a two thousand dollar max. We do offer ortho down to two lives. Mm-hmm. That's very unusual in the marketplace. Agreed. Um, they're all guarantee issue plans. There's no health questions asked. A lot of carriers in that marketplace do ask a health question on their master application. Mm-hmm. They'll want to know if people are actively at work or if someone's had surgery or been off recently. We don't ask anything like that. So we're not. if someone is actively at work, they're going to be covered under the plan. Um, and I think, uh, finally, we do allow... Um, the whole group can be family related. That's a bit unusual. Yes. And we will write a home based business. So you could have a true, like, husband and wife working out of their home based business, and they'll be able to get coverage, um, you know, depending upon what industry they're in for mm-hmm. the full range of programs. Um, in that case, we would just ask for a wage and tax form. Sure. Well, and, you know, as far as your two to nine segment, a lot of groups, especially in this area, are in that two to nine segment. And, um, you know, your $1,500 max on the short term disability is generous. Uh, you know, other carriers mm-hmm. only go down to 1000 or up to 1000 I should say. So, um, you know, we've found your products to be very competitive. Um, and again, the, the great part about the 10 plus is and you know this, we go back to you and and say, listen, we need to tweak these rates a little bit. And, you know, again, from my perspective, you've always been willing to do that or have given me a good reason why you can't. Um, So that's that's great from, uh, you know, from a working with a carrier perspective. You have a lot of things um, also within your products that I think set you apart. Uh, specifically your Ever Plans, your Kepro EAP, uh, the value adds of the Travel Assist, Beneficiary Companion, and of course the Identity identity Theft. Um, I know that's a lot, a, a big mouthful, but could you kind of uh, briefly describe each? Yes, I'd Thanks. be happy to. Um, and maybe we could talk about the EAP program first. Yes. So uh, that's a great feature because it is included down to two lives. Mm-hmm. And so on every employer paid or voluntary long-term disability plan down to two lives, we do include our um, EAP program at no cost. On any other line of coverage, it can be added for 50 cents per employee per month. So it wouldn't be unusual, especially if you're writing a basic life plan under either the GoTo program or our 10 plus to add that EAP um, feature because it's very robust and quite similar to a standalone EAP program. So the major things that set it apart have to do with our um, counseling services. I've compared our program to 17 other companies. Wow. In your spare time. In my spare time. (laughs) (laughs) And um, the uh, other companies allow for either three, five, or seven telephonic or face-to-face visits um, per year. Mm -hmm. Even Unum, who's a very good carrier in the disability marketplace, their standard is three telephonic um, telephonic visits per year. So they don't even offer on a lot of plans that I've compared to -to face-to-face visits. Right. Um, And I'm not knocking them because every company has their um, pluses and they're definitely a leader in the disability marketplace. Uh, So ours is five face-to-face visits per family member per occurrence. And that per occurrence is the key differentiator. Sure. So if you had a family that was dealing with um, a member having cancer, just the stress involved with that, um, depression, 
divorce, financial woes, teenage rebellion. Yeah. Yeah. We've actually, I've gotten questions about that recently. <laughs> that could be five occurrences. So five times five face-to-face visits, a total of 25 visits per year for that family. Yeah. No out-of-pocket, no copay at all. So, I mean, that's huge. That could make a real difference to a right. family. Right. And of course, you know, mental health is, is certainly at the forefront of everybody's mind. And Right. This is just another cushion to help folks through some difficult times. Yeah. For no cost. Exactly. You know, I mean, it's huge. And if you had a family struggling with all of that, um, you know, they probably wouldn't say we have the financial resources to seek and pay for counseling. So right. now they don't have to worry about that. Right. Um, we also offer a 30 minute legal services consultation every year, a 30 minute financial services consultation every year. There's a whole host of online services that are like an Angie's List, a TripAdvisor, a Yelp component. Um, and then their staff at uh, their main office, I mean, they're amazing. When my mom developed dementia, I called up because um, my folks lived in Arizona, I live in St. Louis, mm -hmm. and they just did not know what services were available or what they should do. And I explained the situation, I'm like, what resources are available to my um, parents in Arizona? And within a day's time, they called me back and they're like, here's how you could call for home health services, um, here are community services available. I mean, they gave me a list and it was phone, you know, people's phone numbers, contact services, organizations. I never would have been able to find all that. Right. And it, even if I had done research, it would have probably taken me weeks to figure all of that out. And when do we do those things? We do them during work and, time. Yeah. And also at, at the time of the crisis. Right. <laughs> And so this way, I didn't have to spend work time um, doing that. I had all of that at my fingertips. I could help my dad. I could send all of it to my dad. Right. And I mean, it was just amazing um, the amount of information that they gave me. I agree. Um, so for anybody that wants to ask questions, uh, you know, you can type those in and we'll, we'll uh, answer those at the end of the live chat, but also if you're interested in getting the uh, the PDF of the Kepro EAP, I'd be happy to email that to you as well. So go ahead and uh, you know request that also in your questions. Um, so what? Oh, well, we're continuing on with the value adds. Excuse me. So do you want to continue on with the uh, beneficiary? Uh, companion and, and or maybe other. just a little bit about Everplans first absolutely yes Thank so you. Um, Everplans is a unique program with Kansas City mm -hmm. Life and um, it is available to financial planners on the individual marketplace but no other insurance company offers Everplans so for your agents that means that they're bringing just like the EAP um, they're bringing a unique program to their client groups. Right. And I want to say, first of all, in today's marketplace, when you look at how can a Kansas City Life help um, the agents involved, in the time that I've been in the insurance marketplace, it has become so much more competitive. Yes. And you have these giant agencies, um, you know, like maybe your Brown and Browns that have kind of uh, taken over. Um, a lot of smaller agencies in the country. Mm -hmm. And so lots of times they can provide services that the smaller agency can't. Correct. So what we offer um, and how we're able to help is we can give, um, not that we don't work with the Brown and Browns, but we can make programs available to the agents that you work with that are the same sort of things that some of these giant agencies have available for their client groups. And so I think that that's very helpful too. I mean, to me, the individual agent that you know lives in the same city as their client that mm -hmm. can visit them on you know a neat as needed basis that's different than sort of the giant consulting firms um, that are out there. Right. So I wanted to give a little plug for that because those are the agents that those smaller agencies. Um, the individual agent that we really want to work with and we really want to partner with and help them be successful. So it's one of the reasons why I love Everplans. It is an, um, an online legacy planning tool um, that's made available to each individual employee on either an employer paid life or voluntary life plan. It's only for our groups that are 10 plus lives, mm -hmm. um, eligible lives. And um, a group doesn't have to use it, 
but each individual employee has their own one if they want to use it. Its true value is $75 right. per year. So um, if an employee leaves... Per employee. Per employee. So it is really a great value that we've made available. Um, if an employee leaves, they can pay Everplans directly, and, um, and they can keep that Everplans program. So what's in an Everplans program? I have one, and I'm not even like a third through it. Mm -hmm. So I have things on like all of our medical information, our will, our trust documents, um, insurance plans. I have the dog's medical information. Mm -hmm. I have a video of our house in case it burns down. Now I've got a record of that. Right. Um, I have recipes. I have like old family photos that I've uploaded. Um, so, I mean, it's a storage vault for anything that you want to put there. I have, like, warranties for everything we buy now are stored there because who can find those at the time that you need not them? Not me. <laughs> yeah, it's not, it's not easy. So, I mean, it's really, uh, I mean, I, I, just, I just love the Everplans program. Um, and then I've given my husband a password to everything. Our daughter has a password to some. Our trust executor has a password to some. Mm -hmm. So you can really control who has um, access to it in case something happens to you. Yeah. Well, and that's a great thing, too. And, and um, you know, it prompts you as well. It kind of walks you through the will process and, and all of those. It does. It, you know, so it's, you don't have to be... Uh, you know, a genius and create your own will, it really does prompt you to, to help you to do that. Right. And a lot of plans do have will prep included with them, mm -hmm. I mean, from other carriers. So I think, you know, when people ask me, oh, do you have will prep av available as a value added? You know, I say, you know, yes, we do. It's not mentioned separately, but through um, the legal services program, through our EAP program, and then the formula that's set up for you on Everplans, we've more than compensated for right. something like that. Right. Well, covered all your bases. Um, so what advice do you have for agents that are starting to focus on the ancillary benefits? Um, you know, my favorite benefit is long-term disability insurance. I know that yeah. to be true. <laughs> I love talking about it. I'm always happy to do contract reviews. Um, but it still is probably one of the most um, underutilized and underpenetrated coverages in the marketplace. So there's a, you know, somewhere between 60 and 70 percent of the groups out there do not have long-term disability insurance. So, you know, medical might be in some ways a tough sale from agents that I work with and going to employee meetings. There's always kind of maybe stress. Mm -hmm. you know, unhappiness involved with that, especially <laughs> if the cost is going up. Right. So, you know, long-term disability, great value for the money um, because the actual utilization can be somewhat low, but ever so important. I mean, you're really insuring someone's greatest asset, which is their ability to earn an income. Right. And so, you know, an employer could easily uh, – have a group of 40 lives and have long-term disability coverage, a good solid plan costs somewhere between $100 and $150 a month for that. Um, so, you know, in today's world, that's the cost of like somebody's cell phone bill. Exactly. Um, so again, it's great value for the employees. And if someone does become totally disabled, I mean, the average length of a disability now is almost four years. Mm -hmm. You know, in today's world, for instance, when I started, in 1984 through about 1995, did I say 1884? 1984, <laughs> that would yeah. be really long, 1984 through about 1985. Some days it seems that way, right? <laughs> it does. The, um, you know, it was said that the average wage earner had six months worth of savings. Wow. You know, now 60% of the United States live paycheck to paycheck. Yeah. And I mean, that's frightening because if somebody goes out on disability, it's not that they can even cover the short term. They're already going to be borrowing from pension plans, you know, from right. other things. Maybe their houses are going to go up um, uh, into a mortgage or foreclosure. And we know about 60%, 67% of all home foreclosures or bankruptcies are due to medical bills right. and medical expenses. So, you know, someone just falls behind when they can't cover those. And that's where long-term disability is a good fit. Um, I love to help agents write virgin plans and figure out what is the best plan for this group. Mm -hmm. You know, I do have things like above-ground coal mines, trucking firms, you know, things that even if a group sounds like a bad risk, 
it's more a matter of writing the right plan for it so that the underwriter is happy with it. So maybe that means doing a five-year durational plan, mm -hmm. and I don't expect anyone to know these things. But that's, you know, after being in the business for this long, I hope that I can help bring some of the tools that I have and some of the experience that I've garnered over the years to, you know, people on your team yeah. as well as the agents that you're working with. Well, and I've certainly found that to be true. I mean, certainly, uh, you know, did not, have not been in this, uh, the ancillary market industry for as since 1884. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, you know, you're, you certainly are a wealth of knowledge and, and it's great to run scenarios and strategies by you because you really do help look at it from, from the correct perspective and, you know, help us strategize. Um, you know, Strategy, speaking of strategy, you know, I get a lot of questions from my agent partners. We have, you know, a short term uh, disability at 13 weeks and then your LTD kicks in at 90 days or your 26 weeks STD with 180 day wait for your LTD. You know, where do you see, if anywhere, um, you know, one advantage or another, uh, you know, the 13 weeks versus 26? like. Where do you see that working and not working? Um, you know, lots of times it depends upon the industry and the risk involved. Mm -hmm. um, so with a short-term disability claim, um, you know, there's not a lot of investigative work that goes on as far as the claims payers. There's formulas because uh, there's stated period of time that somebody could be off, like we know um, six weeks is standard for a normal pregnancy. Mm -hmm. So uh, for various diagnoses um, or surgeries or procedures, there is generally a stated period of time that's acceptable and only complications um, may cause that to be increased or something else that comes mm -hmm. into play. And so um, a short-term disability claim is rather uh, like mundane in some ways. You know, the, they're sort of by rote as I, you know, mm -hmm. not a lot of investigative work. And so to run those to longer times can be advantageous for a group if they want to combine both short-term disability and long-term disability. Because long-term disability in, does involve quite a bit of work in terms of, you know, the uh, claims examiner does quite a bit more in the front end. They're involving additional doctors that come into play. And the reason for that is short-term has a short-term duration. Right. Long-term disability can go through Social Security normal retirement age. Mm -hmm. So you could have somebody who becomes disabled at 20 who has an expectation of being covered under a plan until age 67 right now. Um, and so because of that, there is, as you would expect then, a lot more that goes on. Right. So for instance, if you had a plan that had a 60-day elimination period, a lot of short-term claims would run into long-term claims right. and therefore create this extra workload because it's not just a handoff. The whole claim has to start over again. Um, and because of that, we generally suggest the longer duration for the short-term disability if you're going to have both. The other reason, the other thing that can come into play um, it used to be maybe 10 years ago, people thought that, um, and you would get discounts if you had both short-term and long-term disability. Mm -hmm. They would say, oh, you know, the ease of carrying it over, we can manage a claim earlier. But they've actually found out that there's higher claims utilization if a group has both short-term and long-term disability because it sort of gets in the employee mind that, you know, I mean, I have disability coverage, I'm going to use it. People want to use their benefits just like medical and sure. dental insurance. And so now most carriers have a load if they are um, to the rates, if they are uh, providing both short-term disability and long-term disability because the risk goes up. Mm -hmm. And so again, to lengthen the short-term period reduces the amount of that load. That's good to know. So those are factors that come into play, but we are willing to, I mean, it doesn't hurt to flip the elimination and durations around and mm -hmm. see how does the cost change if we do this. So once we have the data entered, it's really no problem to run um, a couple of scenarios for you know your team or the agents that you're working with just to see how the cost can be managed. Right, and you've been great at doing that, you and, and Shelly as well. So um, before we take some questions, let's see, I don't even know if we have any questions live. Um, is there anything that you wanted to uh, 
tell our guests that we haven't discussed so far? Um, I just think that, uh, you know, Kansas City Life has tried to be very, very responsive to um, the agents that we work with, the mm -hmm. producers that we work with, and um, we want to partner as much as we can. And I think that's kind of exemplified in the strategy that we take with writing business. Agreed. So. Agreed. Well, you've been a great partner of ours, and uh, I appreciate that you gave your time today. Um, Thank you. Let me see. No questions. So I guess we've answered all of them um, even before they they <laughs> thought of them. Um, so again, thank you, Maureen. I really appreciate you doing our our coffee chat and thank you. Uh, we'll do this again. And hopefully for those that are joining us as guests, you've, you've maybe thought of a group that might benefit from some of Kansas City Life's benefits. Um, and if that's the case, then please just reach out to me, debw at urlinsgroup.com, and uh, we'll get you some rates. Thank you so much for joining in and have a great day. Thank you.